so thank you for watching per usual doing this um live well pre-recorded video um and just wanted to continue in alignment with you know my platform as far as self-love i've been now introducing the physical aspect of self-love which is of course exercise and um you know eating <laughs> uh eating properly but the eating is going to come soon but right now we're going to do i'm going to you know show you like i've been showing you if you have been watching my videos i've been showing some exercises exercises that i do um, physical activity that I do that are that is not necessarily conventional or traditional right I like to intertwine you know especially when I'm doing cardio I'll intertwine like you know some dance moves um, this is becoming like my new best friend this kettlebell um, I also have a jump rope which you know I didn't bring because I'm on the beach it, you know jump roping in, in sand I don't know it's feasible but it may be a mess you know um, sand flying everywhere and so today, in continuation, like I said, I just want to show you some moves that I do. I know due to the pandemic, you know, people have not been going to the gym, right? Um, the gym has been closed for many other, for many. Some gyms are open. I know they're doing like outside weightlifting and exercising and things like that. For, but for those of you, you know, this, I got this 15 pound Mario Lopez <laughs> uh, kettlebell at Burlington Coat Factory. For those of you who know, you know that those places, whether it's Ross, Burlington, Coat Factory, you can go in there and get, you know, things at a deep discount. Um, I believe this was, what, I'm not sure, under $20. Um, and I think this is, you know, this is doable. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I can't handle this, and this is something that, you know, wisdom told me, right? The Spirit of God told me. He says, basically he was saying, you know, if, if I can't handle this 15-pound kettlebell, right, like a feather, there's no reason I should be fiending to go to the gym to lift, bar, you know, um, barbells or, you know, bars or, you know, weights that are way heavier than this and I can't even handle this. So, and, you know, in lieu with just my spiritual growth and just a part of just who I'm becoming, you know, certain things just don't make sense to me anymore. I mean, I thank God for such wisdom because it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, if I can't, if I can't, you know, handle... Like I said, this or just a 10 pound weight, you know what I'm saying? Maximize that, um, exercise that to the fullest potential without compromising form, right? You'll notice the more heavy, when you do, when you're lifting weights or whatever, and um, you are, you know, you're trying to lift heavier for whatever reason, you'll find that most times people, they compromise form for the weight. And you, you never want to do that. I believe personally that. You never compromise form. You want to make sure that you're so, you know, health, healthily structured. Not structured where you pull a muscle up, hurt yourself, but structured in a way where the targeted muscles or the targeted area of your body is being um, targeted. And that you're not doing a whole bunch of body movements, you know what I'm saying, just because the weight is too heavy. You know, just because you're trying to build fast or get to the destination faster than you should. You want to, like I said, start small, perfect small, and you'll see what 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 should be your motivation ultimately is the physical transformation in your body right so that should be your motivation once you start seeing improvement as far as being more toned also take into consideration eating eating has a lot to do with your progress now i, I know they preach this a lot but i'm telling you from experience outside of finding <laughs> decent you know quality foods or nutritional foods whether it's fruits vegetables things like that acai bowls things like that your best bet the, the easiest way to lose weight and to tone up is to not eat like it's that simple if you've heard of intermittent fasting intermittent fasting or any type of fasting i mean even if you're spiritually fasting one of the benefits of spiritually fasting is you lose weight so if you want to let that be a motivation hey whatever but if you want to lose weight, if you want those definitions, if you want your natural definition to show as just someone whom God has given us muscles and bones, right? Our body naturally comes with muscle. We didn't come with fat, right, necessarily. So when you begin to burn fat, especially the old fat that's been sitting 
in your body for the longest, on your body for the longest. So you start to burn that through fasting. It de fasting detoxifies your body. It, revi it, it revitalizes you, whether you believe it or not. It gives your body and your organs a rest from just the constant functioning for how long your body's been functioning. You know, your kidneys, your intestines, your bladder. I mean, everything that's just been going and going and going and, and has not failed you. You want to honor your body and say, you know what, I'm going to give you a rest because I can't. And so if, you, if fasting is a bit too extreme, there are levels of fasting, right? There's fasting where you can not eat no food at all, which I've done. Um, and of course, the results are, fat, the, the results are accelerated. Um, and also, um, one meal a day, right? One meal a day is another effective way. Um, and also, still, even though you know, you're not eating much, also, what takes even more of a greater effect when you do it this way is even now you're considering what you're putting in your mouth what you're eating if you're eating healthier and you're fasting oh my gosh it's just it's amazing it's like it's amazing i mean it's amazing because when you do eat if you're eating greens or vegetables fruits and vegetables the, the, the body sucks that up sucks that up so quickly and of course those nutrients is not being dispersed where you know you're eating other food and some you know some food gets some energy or some nutrition from the food gets stored and some all does not get stored because depending on how much you eat you know the body is not going to necessarily store all the nutrition it's going to excrete some of it or most of it sometimes depending on how frequent and how much you eat so when you when you're eating healthy on an empty stomach or eating healthy doing fasting that's the best time for you to eat healthy it's doing fasting because that's when your body just consumes all the nutrients you know and if you can go organic factually organic you know not organic just because they say it's organic but you know knowing you know different things when it comes to organic foods and stuff like that but um yeah so that so yeah so that's it so um i'm gonna do another set of this and then maybe another routine and another one maybe two more routines of, of what i do and then that's it for today all right keeping it under 15 minutes so And like I said, you want to keep form, right? This could be a little lighter for me, honestly speaking. Um, maybe like 10 pounds would have been good because I'm still trying to maintain as much as possible form. But you do the best that you can, right? So I do this. This is going to work out the obliques and like my ab area. And I feel it. I feel it secondarily in my group area as I'm trying to control the weight like you see like how I'm trying to like I feel it here too right okay so this is this this is my sandbag which is being used multifunctionally as a seat and as like I use it for like weights for my neck like when I'm doing the back of my neck I do the straps maybe I'll show you that one day or maybe today I don't know um so what we doing next um i wanted to dance i wanted to get a full session of dancing in but i'm just not feeling that right now um and also because of the copywriting right i don't want to i want to play the music where you guys can hear me so i guess the music and i know it's playing right now um, I, I don't know if i'm gonna get because it's, it's low so i don't know if they're gonna hear it but i want to save the dancing full full, full throttle dancing for the private groups that I'm gonna create either on Facebook or OnlyFans. Yes, OnlyFans, <laughs> it's funny how people create things and use it for their own whatever reasons. But OnlyFans is for anybody who has fans who want to subscribe to whatever it is they are loving or liking a person for. So there's a, I've considered OnlyFans, um, Facebook groups, and um, I don't know what other platforms out there besides Zoom you know that I can create a group where you guys can watch. You know, it will it will be a paid group um, where you can come in and see what I do and begin to work out at home. You know, do your own workout in your own house. You know, you have to. You should maintain your body. You shouldn't wait till the world decides to reopen to love what God has given you. God exists, whether the world moves or it doesn't. You know, and so we have to kind of we have to get into that mindset and get into that belief that you know there where there's a will, there is truly a way, and God will make our way if you are determined to make it happen. So let's see what we're doing now. Um what we doing now? So 
I think I showed you this in the other video where I was like, <laughs> it's basically the same thing. And then I think I was showing you guys, like if I was dancing, I would do like this, like that, right? And it's just adding to the resistance, right? I'm trying to go to the music here. Can you get... Uh, I don't want to go too far. So that's one. You save me. Save me from the fiery lake. Oh, Lord, you save Um, And then... What else, Lord? Do the whole good old. My God is good. I want to dance. That's really what it is. Everything I want. We're going to start this over and dance. That's what I want to do. That's why I can't move. We're going to dance right now. Oh, for like three minutes. To the song. It's going to really show you how I move. Good old. Good old. Good old. Good old. He's a... Where's this thing at? Bear with me, huh? Em kendo to emfido. Like I told y'all, I like to do the leg part. Just to give my legs some rest. And we're just gonna go again. Cause you wanna keep the heart rate going, right? All right, y'all. So that's basically it for today. Start with those moves. Um, 
I think that's a good way for you to start. Get your legs a bit more comfortable because we're going to be doing a lot of leg movements, low leg movements, because for me, it, has what gets, it is what gets my heart rate going fast and it allows the body to be used as resistance or in other words, as weight, right? Especially when you don't have any weight. So, and then it's good, it strengthens your leg and I think your legs and your cores are, should be the two parts of your, of your body that are, um, especially your core, that is strengthened. Um, because when it's strengthened, it gives you, it automatically enhances your posture and just gives you just a more confident look and a, and a, and a more confident um, presence, um, physical pre uh, presence. So, ooh. All right, y'all. Talk to you soon. I'll be back on later on with a word, some words of wisdom.